looked outdoors I can tell my milk cow I can tell by the way she lows If you see my milk cow Please drive around I'm here in southern Florida at my buddy John Piazza's house Tonight we are doing an episode on Angus Beef Burger Right here There's the guest of honor Hey, Bill. Mm. Come on. Mm. Come on, Bill. Mm. We got to tell the story about it. What was it? Uh, was it Kristen that we took in your house? Yeah, there's Bell. Yeah. Bell. Mm. Oh. Hey, Bell. There you go. Awesome. Hey, Bell. What's up, girl? This is an Angus cow. <laughs> She's from another planet. <laughs> it's the constellation of Angus Cowan, the first book. And that's a true story. And uh, alien ships dropped these Angus cows off about 700 years ago. This is how we get good beef. Boy, the sheep. Look at that loin. Oh, that feels good. This is where you're going to get that tender loin and maybe a, a nice tri-tip down here, on one on each side. And up here, right along here, we're going to get ourselves a nice uh, porterhouse. Up front here, we're going to get some T-bones. Down here, we're going to get some brisket. How about that concept? Yeah. And then we marinate it off and we grill it responsibly. How you doing, Bill? So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do a moisture burger on the Angus Chuck burger. How about that? Here it is, right here. Angus Chuck. That's what you get Angus Chuck from, Bell. Bell the Angus cow. Moo, moo, moo. And so what we do is we put in about two and a half pounds of Angus Chuck, and just like that, and then we add a little moisture. This is called feta cheese. That goes in a few mushrooms right on top. The Italian dressing, more moisture. This is a moisture burger. That was a super moisture burger. That was too much. And then we put a little bit of more moisture, which is a little jack. Just an ounce or two. There you go. <laughs> what we have to do is, I put a little too much of the Italian dressing in, so we're going to strain it just a little bit. And then we'll mix it together. This is the Bing and Bang series. So we just mix it together, just like that. Mix her together. And that's what we get. It's a nice moisture burger. <laughs> Just beautiful. Look at that. These things are going to be tender, moist, and flavorful, and incredibly juicy. Just put it all together. And now what we've got is we're going to form the burgers next. And then we put them on the grill. So we're going to be grill side in a little while. What kind of wine are we doing this? What are we pairing this with tonight? So we're going to do a little Cabernet brought over by Johnny Piazza's father-in-law and uh, Dennis. And so we're going to do a little uh, Rex Goliath, which is a nice sub $10 Cabernet. I love it. It's really nice. And uh, it'll really, be, uh, it'll really uh, knock it up a few notches. Now we've got our little platter. And we're going to go ahead and form these burgers. And uh, these will be about a third pound burger. So we'll stick these babies on the grill on a high Travis, burn. Hold on. Hold on. And they will be fantastic. So we'll be grill side here in just a few minutes. Marinate off and grill responsible. Chops is a grill eat. We'll see you grill side. Here is a close up of the moisture yeah. mushroom burger with okay. Angus beef. He's the man. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Now, you, you can. All right, we are grill side, and that's the important thing. I got my friends out here. I got Dennis over here. I got Johnny Boy over here. And I'm at my buddy John's house here in Seminole. What we're doing right now is magic. This is absolute magic. Listen to the sizzle. Listen to the sizzle. We are grill side, and we are putting on moisture mushroom burgers. How about that concept? That doesn't happen every day. It's happening right now. And if any of you were here, 
any of my grill masters and grill masterettes, you would be enjoying yourself because we are partaking in a really good time. And we're putting these bad boys on. Now I put them in the freezer after I put them on, just to kind of cool them down a little. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I think we've got enough burgers for an army. And we're going to do these probably medium tonight, because that way everybody gets happy. We're going to shut her down, shut her down, shut her down for about the next five minutes, and then we'll turn them over, and then we'll get a little crisscross, so that they really look just beautiful, just like a woman that's 5'10". Long and lean. <laughs> it's a burger that's long and lean. And that's what I'm talking about. And you know exactly what I'm talking about if you're a grill master. You guys that got the man cave, you know, what we're talking about here is making things tender, moist, and flavorful. As long as you got something that's 5, 10, tender, moist, and flavorful, you're good. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Moisture burgers. So moist, you may drown when you eat it. Big, big burgers. People that like big, big flavor. I don't want that baby to fall apart. I'm just going to keep her going. She's so moist, she's falling apart. She's like lava. Shutting her back down. This is serious, serious burgage grill side with the Primal Grill Chef. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you next time. Chop, sizzle, grill, eat. Thanks for joining me. See my sweet face no more. And are you going to be wondering, honey?